Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the days. We have been solving math problems out of this book here. Or rather, it's the wrong book. The, what I was holding in my hand by mistake is the fifth edition. This is the old edition. Where does it say fifth edition? It should say somewhere on it. Right here. Version 5. That's the old edition. We have been solving math problems out of this book, rather. The sixth edition. The ATI T Study Manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 140. And today I will cover a topic of what is known as skewness on page number 88. If you are interested in getting more practice, if you are interested in getting extra practice as I have told you before many times, you will find that we have solved every single math problem that appears in the 5th edition as well. And you will find the solutions to these problems from the 5th edition from day 1 through 80. T is 5, day 1 through 80. There are no videos from 81 through 100. We begin our new series from day 101 with, for the 6th edition. Let's turn to page 88, skewness. We'll, we'll understand this concept, we'll learn this concept by means of an example. An example, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Uh, an exam was given, a quiz was given, and the quiz has a top score, maximum score of 10, and nobody got a zero. We are told, this is, this is the frequency distribution, we are told 10 people got 1, 2 people managed, 40 people managed to get a score of 2, 60 people had a score of 3, 50 people had a 4, 40 people got a score of 5, 25 people got 6, 23 people got a score of 7, 15 people managed to get 8, 10 people had a score of 9, and 5 managed to have a perfect score. Let's draw, let's draw frequency distribution chart. In a frequency distribution chart, as we have already learned, as we have already learned, what goes on on the frequency distribution chart on the y-axis is the frequency. We learned that on day number 139 and day 138. This is, this is not your normal graph where we have two variables and you put the independent variable on the x-axis and a dependent variable on the y-axis to see what sort of relationship exists between the two variables. That is not what we're dealing with here. We do not have two variables. We only have one variable, which is the score. That's the only thing that varies. Sometimes it takes a value of 7. Some people get a 7. Sometimes it takes a value of 2 because that he, he got 2. Sometimes it takes a value of 10 because that person got a perfect score. It varies, but there's only one variable. And what we're interested in, how often it takes a given value. Let's plot it, shall we? So frequency goes on the top. Highest frequency that we see here is 60. So 60 is going to be the top part here. So let's do that, shall we? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. There you go. And it takes a value of 1 through 10. 1 through 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Well, let's begin, shall we? So, a score of 1 was gotten by 10 people. A score of, a score of 1, a score of 1 was gotten by 10 people. A score of 2 was gotten by 40 people. A score of 2 was had 20, 30, 40 by 40 people. 60 people managed to get a score of 3. 60 people, which is the highest frequency. Now what does it tell you if it's the highest frequency? If it's the highest frequency, that's your mode that appears most often. That's the mode of this distribution. If somebody asks you what's the mode of this distribution, we don't have to plot all of this thing to know that mode is 3. That appears most often. 50 people got 4. 50 people got a 4. Forty people got a five. Twenty-five people got a score of six. Twenty-five people. This is twenty. This is thirty. Twenty-five is right here. Score of six. Twenty-three people got a score of seven. So six score of seven. This is six. This is seven. Seven is going to be just below twenty-five. And eight. Uh, 15 people got a score of 8, this is your 8, and 15 people, this is your 10, this is your 20, so 15 is somewhere here. And 
10 people managed to get a score of 9. And finally, 5 people managed to get a perfect score. Let's, let's, let's see what it looks like, what, what sort of shapes it takes. I'm, I'm going to do a little freehand, it's okay, because if I try to connect all the points the way they are, it's going to look awkward. I'm going to do a little bit of a freehand, okay? There we go. This guy right here, this guy is here, this guy is here, this guy is here. Voila. This is what I mean by free here. What do you notice? What do you notice? What we notice here is that the peak of this distribution is not centered. Peak is not centered, which is what we expect to see in the normal distribution. Normal distribution looks something like this. Peak is centered. Peak is centered. Here, here you have your frequency. Let me do it again because it's cutting the graph itself. Here you have your frequency. Here you have your values. And normal distribution is very symmetric. It's very symmetric. Whatever the mode is, the mode is this value. Whatever this value is, this is the value that appears most often because that's the peak. That's the peak. Whatever this value is, whatever this value is, that value appears the most often. What we notice in a, what we notice in the normal distribution is that it's very symmetric. We have equal number of observation to the left of the peak as we have to the right of the peak. That is not the case here. This thing, the p, the p is to the left. The peak is to the left. This graph is skewed. This graph is skewed. Skewed. What does skewed mean? Do you know? Do you know what the word skewed actually means? This graph is skewed. What does it mean to be skewed? It just means dis distorted. The skewness would be the noun, which simply means distortion. This graph is skewed. It's distorted. It's distorted. Where is it distorted? It's distorted here. It doesn't. It doesn't have a nice shape that it's supposed to have. Nice shape that it's supposed to have should have looked something like this. When it comes down, we have a here and here. But see, we have. We, we do not have. We do not have 50 people. 50, 50 people got a score of four. We should have had 50 people getting a score of a score of two. A score of two was gotten by only 40 people. You see, it's not 50. It's not even symmetric. But even if we were to do this. It would have, it would have, been, it, it, it would have been like this. Had it been symmetric, had it been symmetric, it would have, it would have come down like this. And now we would, have, we would have had the same number of observation to the left as they are to the right. But it's not. It's distorted here, to the right. The peak, the peak is to the left. Let's make a note of it. The peak for this graph. The peak, which is the which is the mode, an observation that appears most often, is to the is is to the left. The peak is to the left and is distorted to the right hand side. It, does, it doesn't take the same shape on the on the right hand side as it took on the left hand side. We see it's, it's distorted. It's distorted on the right hand side. It is distorted on the right hand side. The same as saying. Is skewed to the right. It's skewed to the right. This graph is skewed to the right because it has a peak which is on the left. The peak is not centered. The peak is not centered because the values go all the way from 1 through 10. If the values go all the way from 1 through 10, I would have expected the peak to be somewhere in the center around 5. The peak should have been at the 5. You see, it's not. It's, it's, it's peak is to the left, and it's just on, when you get to the right hand side, it doesn't take the same shape on the right hand side as it took to the left hand side. It's distorted, which is same as saying it's skewed. It's skewed to the right. What would it look like if it were if it were skewed to the left? Well, if it were skewed to the left, the peak would have been on the right hand side. 
if you like, we can draw it very quickly a freehand. Let's do it here. We have the data, we have it, we're done with all this data here. Let's very quickly draw a small graph. Graph. A, dis a distribution graph that is. Again, we have a frequency here, we have the values here. And now we're going to draw it freehand so that the peak appears on the left hand side. There. If, even if it did continue, do it down. There we go. The, the peak is on the left hand side. The peak is not centered. This peak is on the left hand side. This is the mode. In other words, most value, most observations are of the higher value because you see how values go up. Most observations are the higher value. Here, most people got a low score. Most people, you see, 60 people managed to get only 3. 60 people managed to get only 3. 40 people got a score of 2. 40, uh, 50 people got a score of 4. Most of the people had low scores, low values. Most, most values are lower. Here, most values are going to be high. If you see a distribution like this, which means most people in the class had a very high score. It was not symmetric. In other words, we do not have the same number of people uh, who got the higher score as, same num as the number of people who got the lower score. If, if the mode in the quiz happens to be 5, right in the center, if mode happens to be 5, listen very carefully, if mode happens to be 5, let's say 50 people got 5. Well, if 50 people got 5 and then you tell me that 40 people got a, four, a score of 4, then I would expect 40 people get a, to get a score of 6. You see, one over one of it. If 30 people got a score of 3, I would expect 30 people to get a score of 7. Because 3 is 2 away from 5. It will be symmetric. That's not the case here. Right here. Also, this is not the case here. The P is to the right. And therefore, the distortion that we see here, the distortion that we see here is, the distortion that we see there is to the left here. This graph is skewed to the which is the same thing is distorted to the, to the left and the mode is on the right hand side here the mode is to the left hand side here the mode, mode the peak that is peak is same as saying mode mode is on the right hand side if the mode is on the right hand side if the peak is on the right hand side we say that it is skewed to the left on the left hand side it is distorted it is skewed and that is the concept of skewness I'll see you tomorrow okay and you will see the graph that I'm talking about, that we're talking about here, skewness. You will see the two graphs that they give you on page number 88. Is skewed to the right, is skewed to the left. They give you two distribution. That's exactly what we're talking about here. See you tomorrow, okay? I know.